Hello, I'm Heidi Young from Alimed, and you are viewing video two of the PIR alarm systems featuring system two, motion detection bed alarm with nurse call receiver. If you have not yet seen our overview, you may want to go back and view that video first to get a general idea of how the whole system works, how to use it, and all its benefits and features. But just to quickly review, the PIR is a wireless motion sensing alarm that acts as a first alert to patients who are about to rise from their bed. It uses infrared technology to create an invisible field that triggers an alarm once the sensing field has been disturbed. This presentation takes a closer look at System 2 and explains the benefits specific to the system, its components, setup instructions, and how to use it. System 2 is a variation of our basic PIR system, but upgrades it from a local bedside alarm to an alarm that can transmit signals to a nurse's station. Another important feature is the ability to set the local alarm to silent while sounding only at the nurse's station. It allows the alarm to deliver a further reaching warning to the patients that are in danger of falling. It can be placed on the side or at the foot of the bed or at the headboard. You can even place it above a doorway for patients who tend to wander out of the room. Like System 1, System 2 bed alarm with nurse call receiver comes installed in a swivel mounting bracket and includes one 9 volt battery. It also includes the nurse call receiver, which allows alarm transmission to the nurse's station. On the front of the alarm is the sensing area. This is the part of the alarm that emits the invisible infrared sensing beam. Be sure this is the side facing out when the alarm is in use. On the other side is the low battery alert light and the speaker where the local alarm sound is emitted. On one side of the unit are the alarm settings, which include the on-off switch, the high-low volume slider, and the nurse call jack. On the reverse side is the reset button. The unit swivels in the holster to expose the battery compartment. Here you'll also find the transmission mode controls. Three choices can be made from the transmission mode using the selector switch. Choose alarm if you want only the alarm to sound with no signal sent to any other devices. Use this mode when using the PIR unit only. Choose transmit when you want the PIR alarm to transmit only to the nurse call receiver and not emit an alarm sound itself. Use this mode when trying to avoid waking other patients in the room. Choose transmit and alarm if you want the PIR alarm to both alarm locally and transmit to the nurse call receiver, alerting staff at the nurse's station as well as warning the patient that they have triggered the alarm. Just below these controls is the delay function selector. Choose either a 10 or 20 second delay that allows the caregiver to exit the room without disturbing the sensing field. The eight position red and white dip switches indicate the channel the transmitter or receiver is set to. They are numbered one through eight. On the bottom side of the holster are the screw slots for mounting the device. The nurse call receiver unit works in conjunction with the alarm unit to signal the nurse call system without the use of cords. On the front is the low battery alert light. To the side is the power on off selector. On the back is the nurse call plug and the battery compartment. Within the battery compartment is the transmit channel dip switch to be matched with the alarm unit. And on the bottom is the nurse call jack for optional use with the patient's nurse call button. To set up the alarm, select a proper mounting location based on the area to be monitored. You will want to position the sensor so that it creates a sensing field nearest where the patient is likely to move first when attempting to rise. Now securely mount the bracket to either wall or bed making sure the unit is positioned so the reset switch faces away from the patient. This reduces patient tampering and allows easy access for the caregiver. A magnetic mount is also available with the purchase of the magnetic bed rail clamp PIR system. Now pair your local PIR unit to the nurse call receiver by matching the dip switches. Be sure that all eight switches on both units are identical. Once the sensor is securely positioned and dip switches matched, test it to ensure proper function. First, switch the unit on and adjust the volume slider. The alarm then enters the 10 or 20 second delay mode. Wait for the alarm to beep, signifying it is ready, then pass your hand through the sensing field. The alarm will sound. Now that your sensor unit is set up, tested, and ready to use, set up the nurse call receiver. After installing a nine volt battery, Set the eight position dip switches to match the channel setting of the PIR alarm unit. Be sure to set the transmit mode on the alarm to either transmit or transmit an alarm to enable communication. Now plug the nurse call receiver into the wall's nurse call jack and turn the power switch to the on position. 
The sensor field extends horizontally up to 24 feet from the unit. In order to prevent false alarms caused by the caregiver or other patients, you may use a privacy curtain to reduce the area the sensing field covers. Ideally, position the alarm at the foot of the bed so the sensor field extends along the side of the bed and stops at the wall so it won't trigger a false alarm if someone walks past the foot of the bed. You may need a second PIR unit to ensure proper coverage of the sensing field. For example, if a PIR is placed on one side of the bed, you may need another sensor for the other side. Now that both your PIR alarm and nurse call units are set up and functional, you are now ready to begin using the PIR system. With the unit mounted in the specified area and the patient in place, turn the device on. Remember, you have 10 seconds before the alarm activates in case you need to cross the sensing field. Now, when your patient rises and breaks the beam's path, the alarm will sound immediately, both at bedside and at the nurse's station. This gives the caregiver ample time, whether nearby or at the nurse's station, to attend to the patient who is now in danger of falling. Be sure to test the system daily to ensure proper function. You've just seen video two of the PIR motion sensor alarm systems featuring system two motion detection bed alarm with nurse call receiver. There are three other PIR alarm systems. If you would like to use your PIR alarm unit with a remote receiver or a nurse call remote receiver combination system, please see the separate instructional video for each. I'm Heidi Young for Alimed. Thank you for viewing.